And finally, you believe you win this fight by stoppage. I know you're not massive on predictions, but both of you guys have had stuff to say about the other one in terms of where they're at in their career. You believe you have the power to take this guy out on August 12th? I have the power to take anybody out, you know what I mean? But I'm, I'm listen, I'm focusing on getting a victory. If, it, if the knockout comes, it comes. But I'll just try and get the knockout, you know what I mean? But obviously, you know, we... I would listen to what Buddy says and trust what Buddy says, so we see what he says. But, you know, I'm a dog and I'm always trying to bite regardless, you know, until the end of the fight. It's been fights, I've been up in points and I tried to get the knockout in the last rounds and been down and, you know, so. AJ, yep. saw you in Dallas. These other names at you for August 12th, you just didn't seem up for anybody else well, but Dillian White. I'm definitely up for fighting. Mm, there's a lot of names in the division, for sure. But at the same time, let me replay that one time just quickly. This ain't the main point. Relax, bro. Trust me. Relax. Get your own hands, man. Anyway, yo, AJ, what's happening? This was the fight you said. I kept throwing up these other names at you for August 12th. You just didn't seem up for anybody else but Dillian White. I'm definitely up for fighting. Mm, There's a lot. (laughs) Stop it. I'm definitely up for fighting. I'm definitely going to be doing that, 100%, not here to cash out. <laughs> this is bad. This is a bad look, man. It don't even end there. It just... Eddie, I have to give Eddie credit. Eddie was was begging both men. The reason I played... Dillian White's wasn't as bad, but he's saying the same thing. Oh, I've been down in the last rounds of a fight before, so I'm going to be clenching a 2p coin between, between my butt cheeks for the whole night in this fight. That's basically what he's getting at. He's setting the scene. That's what you call scene setting yeah lowering expectations aj did the same thing before what was it the franklin fight oh i just want to get the win the minute you hear that yeah it stinks of floyd mayweather but with no skills if that makes sense all due respect yeah floyd was magical he was fighting bums but yeah either way floyd was magical though canelo wasn't a bum and he, he made Canelo look silly. Touching him. And it's madness. So that's was somewhat of an art. Yeah. AJ. He's big. He's buff. He's not super skillful. And he's talking about. Oh, not really. Oh, I just want to get the win. That's not what people want to see. People want to see your hands going. You're not magical like Floyd was, where you can go in there and just slick someone up and it looks great. When AJ's hands aren't going, it looks awful. Like I said, Franklin, awful, awful fight. And this guy actually references it, like it's something to be revered, which we'll get to now. Peep this. Wait till you hear this one. Unbelievable. Thanks, bro. Come on, man. Get your own lines. Relax, bro. Relax. Get your own lines, man. Anyway, yo, AJ, what's happening? This was the fight you said. I kept throwing up these, these other names at you for August 12th. You just didn't seem up for anybody else well, but Dillian White. I'm definitely up for fighting. Mm, there's a lot of names in the division, for sure. But no, at, the same- at least lie to us. I'm sorry to go back on the point, but l- lie to me. You know what I mean? Whisper sweet nothings in my ear about what you're going to do. At least have a bit. You know Okay, I might expect him Conor McGregor here, yeah? But have a bit of bass in your voice. Hey, man, listen. I don't know much. What I do know is this guy, he getting it. Yeah, 100%. I'm packing for this fight. I've been in Texas. I'm really... I, I, I know that about it. What they call... What's that amendment called? Is it the is it the second amendment? I'm not sure. The one with the sticks in, 100%. Yeah, I've been in Texas, and you best believe I'm bring I'm packing the second amendment on this one, or, or, or fourth, whatever one it is. Yeah, the one with the guns, hundred percent. I'm packing that one. I'm come up. Listen, I float on OT in the USA, and I'm bringing back the second amendment, hundred percent. Yeah, simple. Keep it simple. With a bit of bars, this guy, a- AJ. Are you ready for this fight? Uh, yeah, I want to fight. I definitely want to fight. Like. It's whack, and fair play to the to the cuckolds who who paid for this. Apparently, Eddie Hearn saying it sold out. Fair play, fair play to you, man. Man, you must you man must have a whole bunch of peace to waste. But anyway, in time, look at what this creates as well. 
I'm a fighter, and I understand that economics are business as well, and this does this does good business. Oh, also, stop it! it. Of, you know, when you Just stop for a minute, people. For sure, but at the same time, what else? Well, Dillian one. I'm definitely up for fighting. Mm, there's a lot of names in the division, for sure. But at the same time, look at what this creates as well. I'm a fighter, and I understand that economics are business as well. And this does this does good business. Also, is it a case of... This is the last thing people need to hear. We get it, AJ. Yeah, we get you love money. It's not rocket science here. Do you know them ones? We, we get that. I mean, most people love money. Well, you know, if I could get paid... 10, 20 mil to jump in a ring and just fanny about. I'd get paid that too. We get that. In, in a way, I guess you could say, why be? You always complain about people not being real. AJ being real. I guess what I'm frustrated is, is that people actually buying this. Like, I'm not sure what to say. Yeah. He literally sit here and tell you, oh, I'm here for the money. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely ready to fight. Definitely. Uh. And watch Eddie now. Watch Eddie, fair play to him. He he desperate is trying to inject some life into the situation. Economics of business as well, and this does this does good business. Also, is it a case of you know when you fought Jermaine Franklin, how much were you really up for that fight yeah, as yeah. well? You up for this fight? You, when you look across at this guy, you've got a tremendous rivalry. A lot has changed. I don't, you know, really, when you I don't really look at Dylan as a rival though. No, no, no. Just another body, really. Again, <laughs> Eddie Hearn desperately. Oh yeah, but Dylan's a rival, any? Uh, I don't really look at this guy, man. This guy finished. He been finished. Truth be known. Dillian, again, I said this and I was, I haven't mentioned it for a few days or a week or whatever. But I mentioned this fight. This fight is the battle of the most finished. Some people don't like the word finished. Call it this. The battle of the most checked out. These two men ain't who they used to be. They've checked out of the game. Literally. On cash basis and psychologically. They don't have what they used to have. That's just what's a, that's a fact. Listen to the guys. Yeah? Back in 2015, it was... It was it was on go. Now they're both politicking. Oh, he's not really my enemy. I'm friends with him. I'm just trying to be friends with everyone. Yeah? What's that big bear called? Boogaloo. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? These are two big buff... Of African descent. Boogaloo bears. I think Boogaloo was like <laughs> purple. These 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 two men are the black version of Boogaloo. Yeah, I'm hearing. Where's Boogaloo from? Is he from Jungle Book or is it another TV? I'm not sure, man. Let's assume it's Jungle Book. Yeah, Jungle Book need to make a new. It's a bit like what's that TV show called Black Panther? Yeah, kind of like a African um an African descent version of whatever it was. I'm not sure. I don't watch that corny stuff. But listen, Black Panther. Yeah. Was a spin off. I'm telling you now, Dillian White and AJ need to be up for the lead roles in the Black Panther meets Jungle Book. Yeah? Two boogaloos. <laughs> just, I mean, look at this guy. He even got a teddy bear on his, on his chest. Says it all, look. He got a teddy bear on his chest. He know, he know what time it is. He know he checked out. He know he's trying to be boogaloo. He ain't trying to do, He ain't trying to come on stop people. He ain't, these two men ain't trying to do no fight. Uh, uh, listen, if I'm wrong, I'll come on in and tell you. Listen. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm done with gambling, but I'm gonna gamble on this fight. It goes distance. Do you understand that? Yeah, I'm done with gambling. To be fair, it'd probably be a smoking knockout now. I've said that, but but either way, I'm gonna put hundred bucks on this fight going distance. Yeah, because there's no way, no way. These two men are going boxing with a two p coin between their butt cheeks that's what you can bet on they got a lot of hate for me a lot of I, people I ain't got no hate to see bro I got no hate for you bro a lot of people hate on me so a lot of people not me brother like me. um so with Dylan I don't really look at him as a rival I just watch myself no, do you not listen to this people Eddie Hearn desperate to make some buzz AJ what do you think about your rival Dylan? Oh, actually Eddie any momentum you were trying to generate with that lyric He's not, you know what I mean? Just shut him down. Nah, he's not my, he's my mate. My best mate. And Dillian chimes in. Oh, I'm not a hater. I love you, bro. Right, again. The, the last hope we had, and you know what? Let, let me be fair and unbiased. I said Dillian White was a cornball for not, because at the time it was alleged he wasn't going to do any press. I, well, I give Dillian credit for doing some press. 
I'm not sure how much is contractual or how much he wants to do it. But I'll, I'll, I'll be fair. I'll give him some credit for that. Equally, though, like, wait a minute. You're getting paid four, three million pound. And you don't want to do no press. Like, where do you find these guys at? It's mad. Like, wow. <laughs> they really... <laughs> wait a minute. You don't want to get stuck in. You don't want to pretend they're rivals. You don't even really... And to be honest, they might as well have not done any press. Based on what I've heard here, this is two men, two boogaloo bears. Yeah, 100%. Two boogaloo bears who want to be friends. And that's in that. Yeah. They know the role. AJ just said, oh, it's the business. So, real bad. R real cringy, this was. I'm worrying about my lane and what I'm trying to do. So, with Jermaine Franklin, yeah, I was definitely up for that fight, 100%. With Jermaine Franklin, I was definitely up for that fight. Well, thanks, AJ, for letting us know that. Yeah. Next time, give us a heads up. Do you know what I mean? If you're up for it. No, oh, sorry, better yet. Next time, give us a heads up before you put on a stink of a, of a performance. Yeah. I'm up for it. You show it. That's how you know someone put on a whopper of a performance. When they've got to say to you, oh, yeah, I was up for that fight. Well, you, you know what I'm saying? You better say it because you didn't show it. You know once. For example, I bet if you I bet if you interviewed Tommy Hearns or Hagler, you, you wouldn't need to ask them. It's like, yeah, yeah, I was up. What do you mean? There's no yeah about it. We, we saw it. Don't need to tell me that. Eddie Hearn wouldn't need to sit down and I guarantee you this year, Eddie Hearn wouldn't need to sit down and ask Tommy Hearns or Hagler. Hey, was you up for that fight? What's the point of asking that? Yeah? Both men in there slinging leather. Um, but it was, it was respect to Franklin. I could have I made it as easy as I wanted to. I could have made it as difficult as I wanted to. You know, coming off those losses get the W, seven week training camp, boom, boom. I made it as easy as I wanted to, well, this sounds like Floyd, truth be known, this is a Floyd bar, but without the skills, you see them ones, that's what Floyd would do, Floyd would put on boring fights, and then kind of, oh, oh man, you know, they can't test me, and it's my skills, and no one pushed me to that point, that's what, that was the bars he come with, yeah, no, no one can push me there, so I'll just do the bad, that, that was the excuse, well, if, if someone pushed me, I'd do, you know what I'm saying, yeah, I did it as easy as I want. Yeah, but the thing is, AJ, it didn't look easy. It looked like your butt was clenched. That's the God's honest truth. You didn't look like you was just in there, to, for example. I'll tell you what looked easy. Let me give you an example. And by the way, perfect example of in recent times. Yeah, if people want to know someone make it look easy, Terence Crawford versus Avanesian. And by the way, I'll put to you, Avanesian actually came to have a fight as well. Avanesian was actually about it. He didn't, until he got knocked out, he was he was on it. He wasn't like Franklin, who was sitting in Muffin Top. David Avenesian actually came to win. That's a fact. No, even though he got knocked out, yeah, he went out true to himself. He didn't go in there and think, oh, it's Crawford, he's, he's big and he's good. Let me just start flapping. In fact, Avenesian did what Franklin should have done both times. Yeah, Muffin Top Franklin went in there with Dillian White and blew it. Luckily, he got put onto AJ and blew it again. Didn't want to have a go. Yeah, Avenesian had a go. Don't get me wrong. Avenesian was in there with... Effectively, a god. Yeah, the shots were bounce. <laughs> the shot, the same, them same shots. Yeah, that were armor piercing against Josh Kelly it was just bouncing off Crawford. Crawford was in there just slicking, just, like, just touching. It looked bad. Honestly, yeah. People have talked for a long time about oh, there's 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 kind of out there. There's leaked tapes of of Jimmy S. Yes. Oh, in yeah, somewhere in the dark web, there's some leaked tapes of of Jimmy Jimmy S A V I L. Is it double L? Either way, you get the point. Oh, there's leaked tapes out there. Listen, I don't need to see no leaked tapes of Jimmy. I saw Crawford in there having Eastern, just abusing him in there. Do you understand what I've seen that once? Just in there, just touched. <laughs> it, it, was, it was a magical performance. Anyway, the point I'm getting at is, yeah, that is what you call, I made it as easy as I wanted. Crawford was doing whatever he wanted in there with him. Yeah? You weren't doing that. You was in there, butt clenched, stiff. Ooh, ooh, poop. And not, let's not also forget, Crawford's out there smoking dudes at 147. How are you a 260 pound dude? And you're in there, not, 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 not. It's like the sport's gone backwards. It used to be, yeah, heavyweights exciting because they get knockouts. Heavyweights are fighting bums. Like, even Tyson Fury for what it's worth. Tyson Fury fighting Chisora 
And it, he can't get, he can't score no, no, he can't score no knockdowns, and he lose my coins. I lost a bag on that one. Yeah, I thought, yeah, definitely, he's gonna knock down Chizuru at least once. Oops, <laughs> coins gone. Do you know what I mean? Like these big, these. Wait a minute, how can have, how can wait a minute, how can Terence Crawford not have an eating and spark out in seven rounds? And Tyson Fury, oh, 270 pound, bare knuckle this at the other, in there huffing and puffing away. Ain't got no ding on his shots. Same as AJ. Someone explain it to me. I, I, I can't understand it for the life of me. Yeah? But I made it as easy as I wanted to. It didn't look easy. You look constipated in there, truth be not. If anything, you look constipated. But anyway, in the day, man, like I said, I'm going to. A lot of people talk cap, like for example. Um, there's a lot of people on Twitter saying, oh yeah, Jamel gonna do this and do that with, with um, Alvarez. Listen, not one of them. I ain't seen none of them put no coins up. I, I just ain't seen it. Yeah, I ain't seen no one say, listen man, Charlo gonna smoke new. You know what I mean? I put the bag on it. He ain't do that. No one ain't doing that. So I ain't gonna be one of them ones. I'm, I'm telling you now, that, listen, I'm down bad, I'm broke, but still, 100 bucks, I'm gonna put on this fight go distance. Do you understand? Because I'm convinced. I mean, let's think a bit rationally here. Like, Dillian, whatever we say, and that's the great thing. In the last year, we both, in fact, in the last six months, we have a common denominator, which is Franklin. Yeah? Now, AJ couldn't get, score no knockdowns and do nothing with Franklin. Dillian White couldn't score no knockdowns and do nothing with Franklin. Put that together, Dillian White... It's better than Franklin. AJ is better than Franklin. So it's like, what do you think this is leading to? And both men, both of the better men, AJ and Dillian White, who have the better firepower than Franklin, both men were scared to use it. You know, if you're scared to use it against Franklin, in both fights, both men were like 10 to 1 favourites. If you're scared to let your hands go against Franklin, you ain't letting your hands go against Dillian White, and you ain't letting your hands go against AJ. And that's the bottom line here. This will be one of the most whopper performances we've ever seen, I believe. I, and I really believe that. Now, again, chances are, now I've said it, someone getting knocked spark out in like two or three rounds. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, so no one take my advice, but thinking rationally, it should be a whopper. And I was being optimistic. Well, AJ might be about it because he's taking a hard fight. He come out and tell you, oh, I'm about business and it made business sense and uh, I'm looking forward to it and oh, I'm going to make this fight as easy as possible. Same as Dillian White. Uh, and again, this is the narrative. And the minute you hear, oh, I'm coming for the win. This Again, it's a heavyweight boxing people. I'm not even saying guaranteed knocker. I'm saying I can't tell you nothing. What I can tell you is I'm putting it on this guy. Yeah, and if this guy can take a, the whooping I'm about to put on him for 12 rounds, it may, it may go distance. Do you understand that? This isn't a case of me, this isn't a case of predicting a round or a knockout. This is a case of predicting how much of a whooping this dude can take. Yeah, because he, he might be a hard man. Yeah, 100 the, the man I'm fighting might be a hard man. So he may be able to absorb the shots I'm lecking off his Nelly for 12 rounds. <laughs> yeah? Because all you can control is your own behaviour. So I'm not asking people to just, just have a bit of passion. Have a bit of something about you. Oh, yeah, well, the business and, oh, well, you know, I've been down before, so, I've been down before, so that means that, oh, oh, oh. And normally what happens, and that's another reason why I believe the fight will be a whopper, but normally what happens, and I've experienced this in my own life, but when you turn up to win, when you don't turn up to fight, there's two different things. Turning up to do um, turning up to do enough to win isn't the same as I'm I'm packing tonight. It's a it's a completely different mindset. You kind of you lower your expectations of yourself. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go in. I'm I'm gonna go in there and do enough to win. It always ends up that you end up kind of chasing your tail. Things end up harder than they were supposed to be. Because you haven't brought yourself mentally to that level of, it's going to be a scrap. I'm putting it on this guy. I'm punching hole through this guy. Oh, go, I'm going in there to win. That's what you, That's what ends up with two butt clenchers. 100%. Guaranteed. 
both men are going to f- be in there flapping. And then whoever loses this fight, uh, AJ will probably kick off again. Start trying to fight after the fight. But whoever loses this fight, which in my opinion will, will be Dillian White on points, whoever loses it, Dillian White's going to claim it was robbery. That's what's coming next. Yeah? Rather than doing something in the ring, like, like you know what, man? I'm putting it on this guy. It ain't going to the judges. And that could have been a great narrative for Dillian. If I was in Dillian's camp, I'd say, listen, Dillian. Yeah? Go out there and say, listen, I know AJ in love with Dazone. I know Dazone in love with AJ. This ain't going to the judges. I can't afford for this to go to the judges. Yeah? I'm, I'm taking this guy head off, clean off. 100%. And this guy, by the time I finish with this guy, he ain't going to have no Armani and um, uh, Under Armour sponsorships. Head off, clean. 100%. No doubt. The only place he going to be starring is in the next medieval movie. He put his on a pike, 100%. Just be flown with it. Again, at least lie to us a little bit. Oh, well, sorry, bro. I love you, bro. We're friends, bro. Sad. It's just weak. Weak. Weak source, man. You've either got... Again, I'll give people credit where it's due. Fair play to AJ for taking some risk. But you've either got Fury, who got the chat, but got no balls. AJ, who does about the money. And Dillian White. The fake Yardy kind of thing. <laughs> it's, anyway, I'll stop waffling. Let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, and lick off the bell 100%. No doubt.